morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Stone, and I'm the host of the Daily Dose. And I want to welcome you to the next day of your new life. That's right. See, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What would you guys do with yours today? Well, I can tell you what. Your boy is going to be consistent. That is absolutely right. That is the word for 2019 for me. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That's right. Two. 2019 is consistency. Let me know in the comments what's your word for 2019. Put some power behind it. That's right. I had to go with Kanye West this morning. Power, power, power because that's what it's all about. Guys, I don't know if you're part of the hashtag Rise and Grind family, but if you're not, I think you need to be a part of it because there's some truly amazing stuff going on in the Rise and Grind community. I will tell you, if you have one of these right here, you are well on your way to success. Now, I'm not doing this to put nobody to shame, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it is like 6.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone, and my planner is already filled out. I did my gratitude, I did my goals, and I checked off all my box. What I'm most excited about today is that I did not hit the snooze button, baby. Hashtag no snooze. That's right, 4.30. Let me tell you, if you want a tip to help you with the no snooze, when you go to bed at night, just say it. Just when you laying down, okay, when I wake up, I'm not going to hit the snooze button. When I wake up, I'm not going to hit the snooze button. When I wake up, I'm not going to hit the snooze button. That's what helped me this morning. No snooze. Let me show you what else I got going on. I'm working on that body. That's that's right, you see, I got my yoga in this morning. That's right, I'm back to my yogi. In this picture right here, you can see that I'm in my fitness room and I'm working on my planner. This was about, mm, about 4.55 a.m. this morning. And then that's a sweaty me right after my workout was done. That's right, I did uh, Insanity Max 30. Boy, Sean T had me just a sweat. I will tell you this, if you are looking to lose some weight, if you're in the fitness, you want to lose some pounds, whatever the case may be, you want to get in better shape, Go over to Instagram if you have one and follow me at Zone Out Marcus. That is my Instagram page. It is 100% dedicated to fitness. You'll see a lot of stuff on there with workout stuff and yoga stuff. It's just your positivity, inspiration, and motivation in the fitness world. And I know you're a little bit confused right now because today's topic is called I Want the Cake. I know you're wondering. But before we get into that, I will tell you. Somebody needs their daily dose of positivity, inspiration, motivation, life skills coaching. This dose may change somebody's life. But before that can happen, I need all of my dosers out there. That's right. All of my dosers, that is you guys out there watching this, to do me my absolute favorite thing on the count of three. One, two, three. Hulk smash that share button. That's right. So, I haven't had a chance to read the comments yet, but you guys noticed something? That's right. I told y'all that the Daily Dose studio was going to be lit, and I wasn't playing with you. And the, the, the crazy part about this is the studio ain't even done yet. It's not even done yet. You see, I got my computer right there. Hashtag no notes, no cheating. That's right. Just me connecting with you all day, every day. That's what I do. But I got my nice little phone panels up there, so I'm not waking the house up. My daughter was like, I, I remember if you guys watched that dose, and I was like, hey, do you know what I do in the morning? And she was like, yeah, all you do is yell a little. So I got me some foam paneling so I don't wake the house up. I got my cool lights. Y'all know I it ain't the dose without the cool lights. But I got the Daily Dose Studio and I'm going to set it on fire because today, you better believe I got the secret sauce. You are going to want to know about today's dose. So please do me a favor. If you didn't get my memo, Lyric, tell them what to do. That's my little buddy right there, Lyric. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. I got this uh, MacBook Pro. It's got that little touch bar, so I got to get used to sliding and all that kind of stuff. Y'all get where I'm going. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the antidote. The antidote is defined as a medicine taken or given to counteract a particular poison. It's time to come get your medicine for it. Check out what your boy Michael Jordan told me today. He said... I can accept failure, but I can I cannot accept not trying. That is right. The great himself, MJ. Today's title is I want the cake. I want the cake. I want the cake. I want a cake. I want to tell you where this stemmed from, guys. This is gonna trip you out. I know you're like, Marcus, this is the second day of January, the second day of 365 days of change in my life. And you talk about cake. That is right. I'm talking about the cake. With the reason that this topic came up is because we were talking about goal setting. 
and hopefully you set your goals and hopefully on day two you're doing very well but when it comes to goal setting guys you got to set those goals sky high and I mean sky high like all the way up in the sky like your goals should be so big that they scare you like when you write a ooh Man, what would happen if I accomplish this goal? Those goals, goals got to be sky high. It should be intimidating. It should be, you, you get these jittering and tinglies like, oh my gosh, but think about what would happen if you accomplish that goal, right? So we set these sky high goals and we go after it and we go get it. And let me tell you, there's going to be a few things that it's going to take to accomplish those goals. And we're going to talk about it today on a daily dose because I got the antidote. The first thing that you must do is make sacrifices. I know some of you guys on day two are making sacrifices right now. Some of you have been looking on Facebook and you're like, man, I've been hearing them talk about the bird box and I want to check it out, but I haven't had time. You may have to give up a little bit of Netflix. If you're looking to get into that fitness and you're looking to lose those few pounds, you're going to be challenged today when you go to work or maybe you was challenged yesterday today because all your friends are still that doesn't have fitness goals they're going to be excuse me eating pizza and burgers and chicken wings and ice cream and even some of that cake as well too and i want the cake trust me i like cake cake is really good I love all kind of cake, but you can't have it just yet because you gotta have your goals better. You gotta have your goals better. But don't worry, we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the antidote. Just come on, stick with me. But you gotta sacrifice something. You have to give up something. What's most important is everybody's always complaining about they don't have time. I'm gonna tell you guys, guess what? I didn't have time either. But we don't have to wait. We have to create time. It's all about prioritizing. And the next time you need to do something important or somebody tells you to do something important and you reply, I don't have time. At the end of it, I want you to put for that. That will be very impactful. If somebody say, hey, I need you to do this for me. And you say, I don't have time. Just say for that at the end of it. That's going to get those gears turning. Like, man, that's like that's like you telling me that you don't value what I believe is important. You would rather do something that's not important to you to omit what's important to me. So the next time they say, next time you fix your mouth to say, I don't have time, put for that at the end of it, and then you'll start reevaluating what you actually do have time for, like PlayStation and Netflix and Hulu and all a whole bunch of other stuff and binge watching on TV and the Real Housewives of this and the Thotty McToddy's that. You guys get where I'm going with that. You got time. You just got to prioritize. You got to make time for the things that you want. I know you're probably thinking, Mark, is this 6.30 a.m. on the Eastern Time Zone? How do you have so much energy? It's because I got up 4.30 this morning. No snooze button. I made time for myself. But you know what I did? I sacrificed. I sacrificed my sleep. That's right, because I love sleep. How many people out there love sleep? Do me a favor. Hit the love button. Hit the like button if you love you some sleep, because I love me some sleep. Your boy work hard, and I need me some sleep. I love me some sleep. But I'm sacrificing my sleep, because I got to get my mind right. I got to get my spirit right. I got to get my body right. I got to provide the antidote right. You people need me and I got you. But in order to get the cake, I'm not talking about the physical cake. We're going to get to it in a second. You got to sacrifice. The number two thing that you need to do is you must grind. That is right. Some people don't really understand the definition of grind. I'm talking about blood, sweat, and tears. Grind, grind, grind. Don't do anything mediocre. Don't do anything half blank. Fill in whatever word you want to right there. But if you're going to do something, do it with 100 or more percent of maximum effort. Don't do anything going into it just saying, Okay, let me just see what happens. No, 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 no. When you get into it, you do it hard or you don't do it at all. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing 100% or more. Give it 105, give it 110, but don't do anything less than 100%. If you are not doing anything 100%, just don't do it. Let me tell you a quick story. So yesterday, I'm out and I go to, I'm not going to say the name of the store, but I go out yesterday and I'm looking for this desk right here. It's a pretty decent desk. I like it a whole lot. So I go out there and keep in mind, I'm there to buy it. I got money in the bank. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm trying to get my dose studio going on. And these people at the store were playing with your boy. I'm there. I Let me see. I hear two girls at the cash register. They just talking. The, the one girl's complaining about work. Yeah, girl, I do all this by myself and this and that. And these people just standing around and blah, blah, blah. I'm getting sick and tired of this. And like, I'm clearly standing around. Right there and they just still just arguing about work I'm like you gotta be kidding me so I'm like hey uh 
Can, can I interrupt the argument real quick? I, I'm looking for a, a desk. Can I? Can I? Can you point me to the directions of the desk? So they point me to the desk. They say, "Yeah, it's right over there." Terrible. Don't do that if you're on customer service, by the way. So I go find the desk, and a lady, another lady, walks right past me. So I'm looking at the desk, and I'm looking at all of them. I'm saying, "Cool, I like that desk right there." I look around. Guess what? Nowhere to be found. Guess what I do? I gotta walk all the way back up to the front and say, "Hey, I want to see if you guys got a desk in stock because I want to buy it." They say, "Okay, well let me go just check and see." And then so like the, the body language was just way off. You can just tell this person didn't want to be at work. So they go check back and see and she walks me up to the register. The same other two girls still up there complaining about work. Yeah, girl, I just, I get tired of doing all this by myself. I ain't got no help. I ain't got no support. Blah, 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 this and that. And I'm like, I'm standing three feet away from you and these girls are just going and going and going. I, I, I don't get it. I, I really didn't get it. But when they finally rung me up, I, it's so crazy because I saw a sign right there that said, if you apply for a credit card, you can get $50 off your order. This desk was not cheap. I said, hey, uh, can I go ahead and apply for that card so I can get $50 off of this desk? And the lady looked at me like, hmm? She wasn't an expert in her craft. She didn't know what the world was going on. I don't know if she even been through training or whatever, but it was just not a good experience. Needless to say, nobody in the place that I went to yesterday were grinders. Nobody loved what they did. Nobody valued their job. Nobody appreciated their job. Nobody's heart was in their job. It just didn't make sense. So I'm here to tell you guys, you may know somebody that's like that. So just grind guys grind when you're at work grind when you're reading grind no matter what you do in life make it worth it and grind 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 don't have to do anything make the commitment and promise yourself that you will grind 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 i gotta get into topic number three because the daily dose time is going pretty quick you have to trust the process here's a good here's the deal guys this is super important, super, super, super important. Right now, if you have some resolutions or some goals, you're going through some withdrawals. You are going through some struggles right now. It is a little bit tough. And sooner or later, I don't know whether it's gonna be one week, two weeks, a month, two months, you are not gonna be at the progress that you want to be yet. You're gonna say, I'm not losing weight fast enough. I'm not changing my body in the mirror fast enough. I'm not seeing the financial results that I want quick enough. But I promise you, if you stick, to the process it will work that's why i'm i know that i'm going to come and give a hundred plus percent every single day and whatever wherever the chips lay whatever the outcome is going to be i'm going to be completely fine with that as long as i look in the mirror and i ask myself marcus did you give your absolute best on this and the answer is yes i'm okay with where the chips lay because that's all i care about is giving my absolute best now if i look in the mirror and i say marcus did you give your absolute best and the answer is no i could have did this better i could have did that better okay now we got something to talk about but for the most part I can't not, I, you got to trust the process, guys. You got to trust the process. If you follow it, it will come. I'm trusting this thing in 365 days. If my life ain't changed forever due to consistency, then, then I want my money back. I'm just telling you right now. But I, I, I'm so sure in saying that that I think that I'm going to be okay. Because if you do something 365 days consistently that's positive, that's something of value, that's something of equity, that's investing in yourself, you will see the results. And I trust that process. And I'm begging you to trust the process. Do not give up. We all have the same 24 hours in a day it is about the choices that you make the first thing that you do when you wake up in the morning is you make a choice you make a choice whether to go back to bed you make a choice whether to hit the snooze button you make the choice whether to work out you make the choice whether you're gonna put good or bad food in your mouth you make a choice whether you're gonna work on positive and motivational and personal development you make the choice if you're gonna make the right or the wrong decision but we all have choices and we all have the same 24 hours in a day give me my fuel give me my likes give me my love give your boy everything Thing. I told you I come here today to burn the Daily Dose Studio on fire. I told you today topic was going to be lit and 2019 will be the year of greatness. It will be the year of consistency, not just for me, but for my dosers out there, for you too as well too. So again, let's go ahead and recap in order to get the cake because I want the cake and I want to eat it too because I know if I do everything that's outlined in this, I'm going to get the cake. It can be, it can be the physical cake. The num nums, the yummy in your tummy. It can be the financial cake, the moolah, the green, the bread, the the dinero, as Cardi B say, money. 
It can be whatever you want, but just go for the cake. You can have your cake and eat it too, but in order for that to happen, you have to sacrifice something. That's right. You have to grind hard and you have to trust the process, guys. Do those three things and I promise you, do them consistently and you will thoroughly enjoy 2019. It'll be great things for you. If there's any sort of a notification that popped up when you're on this live that says, see this, get notified when Marcus goes live, hit that button. Go to my Facebook profile file as well too and then you can go ahead and hit the like uh hit the follow button and then hit c first so that way you always get notified of when i go live guys here's the deal i'm just here to make the world smile and change people's lives thank you for allowing me on your phones on your ipads on your tv every single day at 6 30 a.m on the eastern time zone to put some positivity inspiration motivation provide the antidotes so i can pop the pills for you guys thank you so much for tuning in to your boy today i will see you tomorrow on the dose peace